Welcome to this video, Some Frontier Video. My name is Jay Wakefield. And today I'm going to be talking about um, a wee bit about the difficulties of so-called dual spindle laptops. Now, the number of spindles in a laptop is uh, what the industry will sometimes use. The Sometimes the industry will refer to different drives as literally spindles. So, if, for example, you have a dual spindle laptop, chances are you'll have a laptop with a hard drive and either one or, and one other drive. That could be a CD-ROM drive or it could be a floppy drive. Then you've got so-called tri-spindle laptops like the Dell Latitude C810, which will have two removable storage drives. So, uh, so for example, the Dell Latitude C810 has an optical drive and a floppy drive and a floppy drive well it actually has a a multi bay and a hard drive now dual spindle drive dual spindle laptops are perfectly fine except for what if you want to use both an optical and a floppy drive which actually back in the days of something like this Dell Latitude C640 here it was actually pretty common to still be using floppy disks. Now, in 2003, Dell did actually turn around and say, well, to be honest, in a, you know, in an era where we've got hard drives that um, are hundreds of gigabytes across, uh, you know, have hundreds of gigabytes uh, worth of storage, it doesn't really make sense to install a drive that can... Um, install a drive that takes disks that can store a little over a, me a megabyte of storage. And if you put it like that, then yeah, maybe they did have a point. However, floppy disks, they're pretty universal, or they certainly were back about 10 years ago. And um, people like UXW Bill say, and I happen to agree with that, that real computers have floppy drives. There certainly are uses for floppy disks. Certainly, um, if you're wanting to do BIOS updates on older machines or just do something, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, do kind of pretty low-level stuff, it's very useful to still have a floppy drive. But what if you're actually still using floppy disks to store work on, but you uh, need access to the DVD drive as well, or the CD drive or whatever optical drive you have? Well, Dell as did a lot of other uh, commu computer manufacturers, they actually had machines with multi-bays or switchable drive bays. Later on uh, in the D-series uh, latitudes, they were called D-bays. And basically what you could do is you could uh, have a, an optical drive when you needed it, and then when you didn't, you could swap it out and put a floppy drive in. Which is all very well and good, but what, like I said, if what if you needed access to both drives at the same time? Well, the manufacturers who actually made these machines um, with the uh, modular drive base actually made a cable like this. Now, you've already seen such a cable, and I believe that this is pretty much um, the same sort of... I believe this is much, pretty much the same cable. Um, this cable, what it does is it's got a parallel printer part connector at one end and it has um, a proprietary dock connector at the other end. Now what this does is it, um, the dock connector will go into the back of the floppy drive and then you can connect your floppy drive using the parallel part cable to your laptop computer. 
Very nice. However, well, uh, idiots like me don't necessarily mind having um, the floppy drive like this. It is a wee bit unsightly, and to be honest, I found this disk drive to be quite loud. I don't know whether it's the disk drive itself or whether it's the fact that uh, the disk drive is running, well, pretty much exposed. Dell and Compaq will act would actually sell you an enclosure for a drive. Now this reckons that it's for... It says that the icon suggests that this is, can be used to um, enclose a CD drive, a floppy drive, or an extra hard drive. But I'm guessing uh, that uh, for the uh, CD drive or the hard drive, um, you actually need um, something that will actually go into the dock connector on the back of the machine. But as you can see, it, it just uses the you know it has the uh, lighter C series Dell badge. And um, underneath you have um, the, uh, the sliding lock, like you would do on the bottom of the actual machine. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to ins we're actually going to put this drive together. We're going to install it in the enclosure, and then we're going to install the cable and connect it up. Now I have tested this uh, this drive and this cable, so I know it works. So basically, what you do is you slide it into the enclosure like so, like you're sliding it into the laptop and it looks very tidy um, not that you can really see it in this light and then we take the parallel port cable being sure to knock up, uh, not to knock half a million screws off my desk and um, and then we marvel at how I was actually able to, is it? Can I? Can I plug that in? Is it going to plug itself in? Yes it is, I can actually pick it up by the cable. Yes, that is fantastic. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect it to the back of the machine and to the uh, IEEE 1284 parallel part. And the floppy drive has made a sound. And um, I didn't think parallel parallel parts. I didn't think um, that uh, Windows could detect something being plugged into a parallel part. It certainly wouldn't with a zip drive. But um, Windows XP certainly seems to have detected it. So maybe uh, the firmware on this laptop is. Um, it's actually uh, designed to look, uh, constantly scan the parallel part and look for a floppy drive. So let's have a look in uh, my computer. I don't know why it's taking a while. This is uh, Pentium 4 at its finest here. Runs hot and runs slowly. Um, so the floppy drive seems to have been detected, so let's take the ultimate yellow boot disk. And... There we have, there you have it. Now let's see if we can, uh... Excellent. Now let's see if we can actually boot the computer from the floppy drive. So like I said, I mean, uh, I, I do have the destructions for this uh, floppy drive cable. And um, it does say that you should not use it, uh, well it actually says that you should use a parallel part cable with the floppy drive only. And I kind of uh, would have, I kind, I would attend to, well, let me try that again, I would tend to agree with that. 
there's a good reason for that. Um, it's because uh, the transfer speed of the uh, IEEE 1284 parallel port um, is not really the hottest, it's not really the fastest horse out of the uh, stand, to tell you the truth. Um, even though you can, and I do have uh, an external hard drive which runs on a parallel in interface, and an external CD drive that runs off of a parallel interface, as well as a zip drive, it's just not really that fast. But um, I'm guessing that uh, you can use the docking station connector uh, on your Dell Latitude to uh, connect up a CD drive in an enclosure or an external hard drive. Personally, I think I would uh, use it with the ZEP drive. And I think I will, you know, once probably got a wee bit more money, I think I probably will look for something like um, the ZEP drive. Right, let's, uh, let's F12, let's uh, boot from the diskette drive. PC card. Let's go for internal CD-ROM support uh, so we can actually uh, I, I don't even know if this DVD drive works. This came with the uh, Dell Attitude C810 actually. So I've yet to test it. <laughs> this can be this drive's first test as well. Okay, so obviously uh, this drive, uh, this uh, thanks to CD-ROM drive is drive C, and there's a good reason for that. The hard drive is formatted in NTFS. So, excellent. So that um, all seems to uh, work. See if I can do control alt delete this way. Yes, I can. So uh, there you there you have it. Um, this is the uh, Dell Latitude C six forty um, connected to the uh, parallel port uh, floppy cable, which um, has got a floppy drive hanging off of the other end of it, and um, the new. Uh, the uh, replacement DVD drive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was in here before was a CD writer module, which actually will go into another of my latitudes or something. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. Um, just just, uh, just a wee note, I do love uh, about the Dell Latitude C series that um, you have... Um, I do very much like how... Um, all all of the components seem to be uh, a, lo a lot of the accessories seem to be interchangeable um, between different C series machines, including but not limited to floppy drives, CD drives, DVD drives, DVD burners. I believe you can get a DVD burner for that. I'm not too sure. Um, DVD, ROM, CDR, W drives, and um, external hard drives, uh, multi bay batteries, regular batteries. And, of course, zippity doo dad drives. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, the URL will uh, follow. Um, and if you like the channel, please follow us on Facebook as well. The URL for uh, the uh, Facebook page is also going to follow. But, uh, in any case, please, please, please do join me for my next video. And um, thank you for watching this one.